Judge DePel? Yes, I am here. Are we ready? And we are ready. Um, do we, we, looks like we do have Commissioners Kolkmeyer and Commissioner Coleman um, on the line as well. And here in, uh, also remotely with me, but we all have our own devices. I have a uh, Commissioner Holzman and Commissioner Mitchell as well. Today we are in Kansas City at Burns and McDonald for an SPP engineering summit where they will be discussing the 2024 integrated transmission plan with potential projects that could be beneficial to Missouri. So we have uh, gone remote for our agenda meeting today. But with that, it is after 12 p.m. and all the commissioners are present. So we'll begin the agenda meeting for today, Wednesday, June 26th. I would ask those who are participating on the call to please mute your phone unless you need to speak. Um, but before we get started, I would like to recognize the retirement of Connie Landel. Connie is retiring after more than 35 years of service. Connie has been the driving force behind our budget and fiscal services department, and we appreciate her years of service and wish her well. Uh, today, there are five tariffs and new orders and no discussion items. But before we begin, we need to approve the minutes from the June 20th, 2024 agenda meeting. Those minutes have been provided in advance. Commissioners, are there any changes or modifications to those minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor of adopting those minutes, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? By a vote of five to zero, those minutes are approved. First tariff in order today is in file number EO-2018-0211. In the matter of Ameren, Missouri's third filing to implement regulatory changes and furtherance of energy efficiency as allowed by MEDA. On June 10th of this year, Ameren, Missouri filed its program year 2023 annual em &B report. The report, compiled by Ameren, Missouri's third party contractor, Opinion Dynamics, completes eva evaluation, measurement, and verification, or em &B, of Ameren, Missouri's energy efficiency portfolio for program year 2023. On June 11th, Evergreen Economics, who is contracted by the commission to conduct an independent audit of the EMNB report, filed its independent audit of the Ameren, Missouri program year 2023 evaluations. No comments or change requests were filed regarding either report. Therefore, the order before us accepts both reports. With that, I recommend we approve the order version number one. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. I would support the order. Commissioner Kolkmeyer. I support the order. And Commissioner Mitchell. I support the order. All those in favor of adopting the order, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? By a vote of five to zero, that order is approved. The next tariff and your order involves two cases and file numbers WR-2024-0343 and the matter of the request for increase in annual water system operating revenues, MO PSD small utility rate case, and SR-2024-0344 and the matter of the request for increase in the annual sewer uh, operating revenues in those PSC small utility rate case. On May 29th of this year, the Commission directed staff to consult with parties and file a response regarding local public hearings in the Holt Group Farms rate cases. Holt Group Farms currently provides water and sewer service to approximately 45 residential customers located outside of Washington, Missouri. On June 13th, staff filed a response recommending a virtual local public hearing take place on one of the following days between July 22nd and 26th of 2024. The order before us schedules a virtual local public hearing for 6 p.m. on Tuesday, July 23rd. The order also directs notice be given to customers and contains information on how to participate in the public hearing. 
With that, I recommend we approve the order version number one. Commissioner Holman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. Commissioner Kolkmeyer. I'm in support. And Commissioner Mitchell. I support the order. All those in favor of approving this order, please say aye. 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 Those, aye. those opposed? By a vote of five to zero, that order is approved. Third tariff in order today is in file number ER-2024-0189 in the matter of Evergy, Missouri West, Request for authority to implement a general rate increase for electric service. On February 2nd of this year, Evergy, Missouri West filed a general rate case with the commission. The commission gave public notice of an application and set a February 20th intervention deadline. On May 21st, three months after the intervention deadline, the federal executive agencies filed an application to intervene. In its application, FEA stated, but it was unaware of the rate case application until after the intervention deadline had passed. Notably, FEA has timely filed intervention applications in prior Evergy rate cases and has been granted intervention. Commission rule allows the commission to grant a motion to intervene after the intervention date if a good a showing of good cause. The commission finds that FEA being unaware despite the commission's notice and that FEA's intervention application being three months late does not rise to the level of good cause. Therefore, the order before us denies FEA's late filed application to intervene. With that, I recommend we approve the order version number one. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. Commissioner Holtmeyer. I'm in support. And Commissioner Mitchell. I support the order. All those in favor of approving this order, please say aye. 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 Those, opposed? aye. those opposed? By a vote of five to zero, that order is approved. Fourth tariff and new order today is in final numbers EO-2023-0407 and EO-2023-0408 in the matter of the second prudence review of the Missouri Energy Efficiency Investment Act, MIA Cycle 3 Energy Efficiency Programs of Evergy Missouri Metro and Evergy Missouri West. On June 1st of last year, staff filed notices that it started a second MIA prudence review of Cycle 3 Energy Efficiency Programs of Evergy, Missouri Metro and Evergy, Missouri West. On October 27th of last year, staff filed its recommendation. On November 2nd, Evergy filed a request for a hearing and the commission established a procedural schedule. The parties subsequently filed direct rebuttal and sir rebuttal testimony. On June 10th of this year, all parties filed a unanimous stipulation and agreement. The agreement is a resolution of all contested issues. The agreement provides that Evergy, Evergy Missouri West will reduce its MIA recovery amount by $700,000 in its next DSIM rider filing. The agreement also states that Evergy shall not seek recovery through its DSIM for certain items, and that Evergy shall provide detailed invoices for its contractors and employees. After reviewing the pleadings and the unanimous, and unanimous agreement, the commission determines that its terms are reasonable resolution of the issues. Therefore, the order before us approves the unanimous agreement. With that, I recommend we approve the order, version number one. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. Commissioner Coldmeyer. I support the order. Commissioner Mitchell. I'm in support of the order. All those in favor of approving this order, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? By a vote of five to zero, that order is approved. Fifth tariff in order today is in file number EO-2012-0269, in the matter of the Empire District Electric Company's submission of its interim report regarding participation in the Southwest Power Pool, or SPP. This case concerns Liberty's continued membership in SPP. 
On July 21st of 2022, the Commission granted Liberty an extension of the conditional approval to continue its membership in SVP for an additional two years until August 1st of 2024. On April 16th of this year, Liberty filed a motion and requested the conditional approval be extended an additional year until August 1st of 2025. Liberty's motion explained that throughout 2023, it had met with SPP staff and exchanged data concerning preliminary results that were provided in SPP's Regional Cost Allocation Review, or RCAR. Liberty stated it is hopeful that SPP Integrated Transmission Plan for 2024, or ITP, will result in some meaning, meaningful projects for Liberty, Liberty's customers. To allow more time for all the information to be developed with respect to possible transmission investment and the SVP southeastern scene that would provide benefit to Liberty's customers, Liberty requests the additional one year extension of its SPP membership approval. Staff filed a response stating it had no objection to Liberty's request. No other responses were filed. Having considered the motion and staff's response, the Commission determines that an extension of Liberty's authorization is appropriate and is also why uh, many of the commissioners are here today at Burns and McDonald at SVP's Engineering Summit. Therefore, the order before us grants Liberty's request for an extension. With that, I recommend we approve the order version number one. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. I'm in support of the order. Commissioner Kolkmeyer. I support the order. Commissioner Mitchell. I support the order. All those in favor of approving this order, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? By a vote of five to zero, that order is approved. Last item on the agenda today is scheduling. So next Wednesday, July 3rd, we will have agenda at 10.15 a.m. The following Monday, July 8th, there's a rulemaking hearing in case MX-2024-0310 in the matter of the proposed amendment to manufactured housing building codes in room 310 at 10 a.m. with Judge Prigen. Wednesday, July 10th, we have agenda at 10.15 a.m. Thursday, July 11th, and Friday, July 12th, we have an evidentiary hearing in case EC-2024-0108 in the case of Furt v. Amron, WebEx only at 9 a.m. with Judge Clark. Monday, July 15th, there's a discovery conference in case GR-2024-0106 as a matter of the request of Liberty Utilities or Mid-States Natural Gas Corp to implement a general rate increase for natural gas service in room 305 at 10 a.m. with Judge Hatcher. Wednesday, July 17th, we have agenda at 10.15 a.m. Thursday, July 18th and Friday, July 19th, we have an evidentiary hearing in case EC-2023-0037, Missouri Coalition for Fair Competition and Corey Malone versus Amron, Missouri in room 310 at 9 a.m. with Judge Sire. And then finally, in addition to the schedule, Tuesday, August 13th, the Commission is hosting a resource adequacy summit series known as Power Mo with the goal of securing Missouri's energy future. This, the first of this event is, uh, will be held on August 13th in the Truman Building here in Jeff City. Registration is now available at psc-mo.gov slash general slash power underscore no. Look forward to seeing you all there. And last but not least, Commissioner Coleman's birthday is this weekend. So wish her an early happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Absolute happy birthday. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. What a surprise, Madam Chair. <laughs> That's right. We got to help celebrate. Right. Any other That's business coming all. before us? I Seeing none. Thank you, Madam Chair. We're adjourned.
Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you.